Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Embroidery Hub and in today's episode we're going to show you how to embroider on ribbon. So this is actually quite easy, so stick around and you'll see exactly how to get it done. So before we jump in, I just want to remind you guys if you have any questions at all throughout the video to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you with an answer. And I also wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed so far. If you're new here, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on the little bell icon so that you can get notified the next time we post a video. All right, so what do we know about ribbons? We know that ribbons are basically a strip and we know that there are no hoops at this moment that will cover a strip like this unless you get a specialty belt hoop and yes we do have an episode on how to embroider ribbons belts anything like that using a belt hoop but today i'm going to show you how you can use a regular hoop so we know in embroidery 101 that you are not supposed to really hoop anything that doesn't cover the entire area of the hoop this is because um you don't get the proper hoop tension so you know, you can run into machine embroidery problems, but that's okay. We can get um, by with embroidering a little ribbon, even though um, it's not covering the entire area of the hoop. And we're actually going to use our square hoop. Um, if you have a square hoop like this, or even a, a regular hoop, it just depends on um, how big your design is. Um, my design is uh, pretty large, so I'm going to use my square hoop. Um, and we're going to use my favorite uh, tool right here, temporary adhesive spray, and that's going to help lock that ribbon into place to make sure that it doesn't move around during embroidery. So what have I done here to prep for this embroidery? Well, I have drawn a few guidelines. This is um, kind of an not a necessary step. This is just um, if you're new, if you haven't done this yet, this is a good way to make sure that you're hooping straight because that's going to be the most important part of this embroidery. You're going to want to make sure that you're hooping straight because if, let's say, you hoop and it kind of goes like this, then obviously you're going to embroider on your backing and not on your ribbon. So you want to keep your ribbon in place, okay? And we're going to use these little screws on the hoop to help you as along with our little lines. So I drew um, two perpendicular lines and a point in the center, as you can see. These are my two perp perpendicular lines. And then I have my point in the center. I measured, marked my center. At this point, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to cut the ribbon anyway, so it doesn't matter um, as long as I get the center of the design right in the middle. So that's where I'm going to start embroidering. This is where my needle is going to show. And I am going to line this up with the two per perpendicular lines. And then when I did that, I went ahead, and this is optional, but you can do this if it helps. Um, I went ahead and drew some lines to guide me so I can know that my ribbon is straight. Okay, so you can also, another thing that you can do that I've seen a lot of embroiderers do is um, kind of have like a die line, like a basting stitch, um, and that'll kind of draw a stitch around. You can pop it in your machine, draw a stitch around. It's kind of like if you're going to do applique, and then you put it in your machine, and then you use a temporary heat spray, and you put this right back, and then you put your frame back in, and you start embroidering. So whatever way works for you, whatever you find fastest and most efficient, um, you can go ahead and do. So let's go on to um, hooping. So I have my temporary adhesive spray and I'm just going to lightly spray the back of my ribbon with my temporary adhesive spray. And I'm going to do that off camera because I don't want to get rid. I don't want to get anything on this. All right, so I accidentally got some on the other side of my ribbon, so I'm going to use another side and I mark the center again. And remember to spray on your, um, on your backing. So now I'm just going to line up the ribbon with the lines that I've created. Alright, so now that I've got it nice and straight, I'm making, a, I'm making sure that I've smoothed it flat. And I'm going to just hoop as I normally would, just to make sure that you um, don't hoop off. Off center. <laughs> So these lines are actually going to help you. If you draw straight perpendicular lines, they're going to help you to make sure that you are hooping correctly. All right, so I have centered my design off camera. Um, for those of you wondering how I did that, if you're new to embroidery, 
just make sure you mark the center of your design on your garment and then trace with needle number one, making sure that needle number one lands exactly on the mark that you have created and that will um, get make sure that you got the um, perfect placement. So now I am ready to go ahead and press start. So let's see, let the machine do the honors. So here is the finished piece and as you can see with these uh, steps for centering you get perfect precise placement so that you uh, don't mess up and embroider in the wrong direction you get it right exactly where you want it so I did want to address one thing and that is about the back of the embroidery I did use cutaway backing and that's because this type of ribbon as you can see it's a soft material that's prone to puckering as you can see here and yes, you can iron this out, and I do recommend that you do um, use some heat to get rid of it. Just make sure not to um, go over the stitches. Um, if you don't use one sheet of cutaway like I did, you can use two sheets of tearaway because that'll help give you the stability that you need for it to not move around. And you can just tear it off. Let's say you're um, selling these, maybe you want to do sashes. You can use the same um, technique for sashes as well. It's very similar to ribbons. So you can use two sheets of tearaway and that'll work just as well as one sheet of cutaway. So with that being said, if you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. And I also want to take the time to let you guys know about our newsletter. Uh, you can go ahead, I've linked it below. You can just sign up and get a bunch of machine embroidery tutorials and info straight from us to your inbox. Uh, you won't regret it. And I also want to invite you guys to join our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where you can chat with me and thousands of other embroiderers in there. If you have any questions, go in there and ask those questions. People will get back to you. And if you just want to share advice, if you have any good tips on how to embroider ribbons or how to embroider anything, go in there and tell us a little bit about yourself and share some good tips. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the group and don't forget to join the newsletter.